All right, so your house is under contract. What next? Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern team and Keller Williams. And we get this question a ton of times. What happens once my home goes under contract? Okay, so first things first. The buyer is going to have to have what we call earnest money. Earnest money is where a buyer puts a certain percentage down on the house and it really shows good faith to the seller that they want to uh, go through and complete this contract. Typically, it's about 1% of the total purchase price and it does go towards the buyer's um, either closing cost or down payment. It is also due within four business days of going under contract, so keep that in mind. Now, once, we're, um, once we've got the earnest money, the due diligence period starts. Typically, that's between seven and 10 days, and this is where a buyer will typically order a home inspection. And don't be alarmed, but the inspector will find roughly about a Bible-sized list of everything that's wrong with the house. In fact, they'd find it on new build and new construction homes as well. So uh, don't be too alarmed about that because a skilled realtor like us, we will help you take that list and narrow it down to the major systems issue, major deferred maintenance, and the major safety issues with that house that will go to the sellers and have them help us remedy and fix before we move on. After due diligence period, we've got the finance and appraisal period. This is really where the, the lender gets the buyer fully underwritten, fully approved so that they can go perform and close on the house. And this usually goes all the way up to about 21 days from the moment the contract was executed. Okay. Now, in between um, due diligence and finance and appraisal, the buyer is going to be working with utility companies and home insurance companies to get everything you know, at least set up and ready to go for the time when they move in. And finally, we've done all this work to get to the closing table. But here in Utah, we have two, two phases of it. The first is what we call settlement. Settlement is where you're going to meet with your realtor at a title company and you're going to sign a ton of documents and your hands are going to get cramped up. Uh, it's normal, by the way, okay? But once that is done, okay, the home isn't yours yet. We've got to wait until the title company sends that to the county and the county um, records and funds it. And that way, once that happens, then the house is legally yours. You can set a time with your agent to meet you at the home to get the keys, call that home your home. So I hope this helped in terms of understanding the steps of what happens once you're under contract. Nothing to worry about. A great realtor will help you get through it with ease. If you have any questions, call, text, or emails. We'd love to help you.